Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you my new homeschool area for the 2021-2022 school year. But first, I have to show you how my homeschool area looked last year. This was my first setup that I did for my daughter, Brielle. And while it was cute, it wasn't functional for me and for our season. So what I did was I decided to remove the desk and add in this bookshelf. Just because we do spend a lot of our time homeschooling at the dining room table I thought that my daughter would like working at a desk but she told me she didn't she liked to sit next to me and be with her sisters at the table so that is where we're going to be doing school at so I needed a place to house all of our books and all of our things so what I did was I decided to take my bookshelf that I had in my office and bring it downstairs in my main living area I decided to bring down our tried and true cork board and just just get this homeschool area set up and ready to go. Okay, as you guys have seen, I do have a little bit of cleaning to do. If any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I have a nine, three, and a one-year-old. So not only do I homeschool my fourth grader, I do have two very young toddlers that I have to entertain in the midst of schooling. So I make sure that I have like toys and things set out here for the girls. I do do like a simple toy rotation for them just because they were dumping toys and it just was driving me and my husband has been crazy just the amount of time we were spending cleaning up toys but once I added in a toy rotation it just worked out perfectly for our family so the first thing I wanted to go ahead and do was just to remove their art and their paintings that they did over the summer on these little cork books that I have by my refrigerator and um, you guys I always like to store away all of their art and their drawings so this right here, you guys, is actually my library collection. I have collected these books over the course of a whole year. So don't feel like you have to go out and get all of the books all at once. This is a year's worth of me being on a really tight budget, just buying one book at a time. So this first stack right here, you guys, is my reference books. Then I have this small stack of picture books. Some of these I already had, but I just added to them. Right here is a stack of all of my Africa books for our amazing Africa heritage pack that I'm so excited to continue to dive in. As you guys are watching this, we actually finished our first week of school and that Africa pack, you guys, has been amazing. Here is like all of my picture books, my Dr. Seuss books. These are actually old books that I saved from Brielle and I cannot wait to start reading these with Leia, my three-year-old. Here goes my little poetry section that I have, you guys, of all of the poetry books that I've been collecting for our poetry tea time. I have a few little science books, not too many science picture books, but I have a few in this pile. I have some history books. I have a lot of history books, you guys, just because we're going to be starting American history after we finish our Amazing Africa Heritage Pack. So I've just been collecting different readers. I've been collecting things from the Who Was series just to get us prepared to do our American history once we finish our Africa unit study. Now these are all of my chapter books that I have you guys for us to do like our read alouds. Some of them I will allow Brie to just read independently but for the most part these are books that we're going to be reading together as a family. Um, I haven't, I don't have too many chapter books but I feel like my collection is getting pretty big. A lot of the chapter books I do have were actually free so I was really blessed when it came to that. And here goes some of the board books that I do have for my one and my three year old. I've been collecting board books for them over the past year as well and yeah You guys, it feels so surreal that I'm going into my second year of homeschooling. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I know some things. I feel like I'm excited and I'm pumped and I'm like, okay, I know what I'm doing. And then it's like other days I'm like, okay, I really don't know what I'm doing. And I feel like I continuously go on an up and down roller coaster when it comes to homeschooling and my confidence. But this year, you guys, that is one thing I really wanna focus on. It's just building my confidence as a homeschooling mom and knowing that I will make mistakes and um, 
I, I may mess up. I may say the wrong things. But at the end of the day that I do have my children's best interests at heart. And I believe that honestly, that's all that matters. And I know God, he's going to come in and he's going to fill in those gaps for me. Um, I just have to believe in him and know that he's going to work through me through this school year. So if any of you guys are feeling like me, still feeling like a little bit nervous, still feeling like you need a little bit more confidence, just know you're not the only one. Um, I'm, I still don't have it all figured out. It looks like I do in these videos, but I don't. <laughs> and uh, just know that I'm here with you guys and we can do this. We're going to have awesome school years and we're really going to make this. Okay, for any of you toddler moms out here, I just wanna show you my little secret. This is where I keep the rest of my board books just because I still don't trust my little toddlers. They have busy hands and they will knock all the books over. So I only keep a few out on the bookshelf. This is where I keep all the other toys for their toy rotation. And this is just mommy's little secret and I just keep it closed. So now I'm going ahead and putting down um, Brielle and Leia's latch mates at the bottom of this uh, bookcase. I feel like this is a perfect spot for it just because Brielle can come in and grab her things. I know Leia's latch mate is a little bit too heavy for her, but I can go ahead and carry it and take it to the dining room table. And you guys, this organization system for like their curriculum and supplies has been amazing. Okay, you guys, now is the fun part. This is the time that I get to bring this little homeschool area space alive. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add all of our Africa themed items to put on our main bookshelf, just to have this area be more inviting, just to have Brielle be really excited when she sees all of her Africa books and everything like that. I know I didn't have to do this, but I just wanted to add this area like a little pizzazz. So I got this fall garland that I'm gonna add to my bookshelf just to make it look a little bit extra special. Now I do have my morning basket that I'm gonna set beside my bookshelf. I was gonna wait to show you guys it, but I'm gonna show you everything in it now. So I have a long walk to water. I have the African alphabet board book for my daughters. I have Anna Hibiscus, which is another book we're gonna be reading this first quarter. I have Who Was Nelson Mandela? I have um, The Trumpet of the Swan. We didn't quite finish this from the summer, so we're gonna finish this one up in the start of our school year. I have Leia's Animal Flashcards, and I found this really awesome Africa flip card a pack that has all of the African countries. It has like the main facts on them. So as we go through each country in Africa, we can use this little flip chart, and my daughter has been loving this. I also have the ABCs that I use to do uh, phonetics with my daughter, Leia. I have our Character Matters cards from September & Co. I checked out Sing a Song of Seasons book of poetry from my library. I've been enjoying it, you guys. I have some nursery rhymes back here. I have my daughter's Sabbath school lesson. I have Nelson Mandela's favorite African folk tales. I have Mother Goose for my two little ones. And I also have two main picture books with I Believe I Can and I Am Enough from Grace Byers. And I have this little dry erase pad that helps Leia practice writing her name. And then I also have like one letter that she's gonna be practicing to help her write her name. I also have my daughter's Sabbath school lesson, which is a little bit older than the baby one. And this is more age appropriate for her.
guys, I'm so happy with how our homeschool area turned out. I'm so happy that my daughter seeing this homeschool area, it just really got her excited about school. When I filmed this video, I actually filmed this video a day before our school started and she was just ready to go. She was exploring all of her items and all of her things and it just really made me excited and pumped and ready to start our homeschooling year. One thing I have learned, especially from all the homeschool books I've read this summer, is that I have to set the table for my daughter. I have to set the table for learning and just step back and watch it happen. So I hope all of you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope all of you guys will have an awesome and amazing school year. I look forward to seeing everyone in my next one. Bye.